everyone, long time no see. It's been a really crazy holiday season, but I'm hoping to get a couple of short tutorials in before Christmas. And the first one is a holiday gift tag tutorial, and I'm going to be using one of the tags from my Holiday Wishes die cutting tag set. And we're going to be glittering it with fluorescent glitter and I'm so excited about the fluorescent glitters. I've been wanting to buy these for a while and now neons and fluorescent colors are really popular so this was the perfect excuse. So these glitters are all from uh, Martha Stewart's fluorescent glitter pack and there are a dozen different colors and you have all shades of the rainbow. Uh, you have there's a fluorescent black and a fluorescent white which can be used for a lot of different types of projects. And they both basically, I don't know if you can see, but they both have uh, like iridescent glitters in them. They're, they're just basic black and white glitter with the, with the iridescence. And all of the glitters in this set have sort of an, an iridescent shimmer. So you've got your teal and blue, green, orange and yellow. Um, there's a gray which is kind of cool. It's actually sort of like a bluish gray. And this purple and three shades of pink which I love. So you have your regular fluorescent pink. You have a fluorescent fuchsia which is just a little bit purpley. And you have fluorescent coral which is what we're going to be using today. So when I thought about how I was going to glitter a larger space like this, at first I thought that I would use this uh, Zig glue pen. But there are two issues. First, when I use a glue pen and want to color in a, a longer length of space like this, what usually tends to happen is that by the time I'm maybe to the middle, the part that I've colored with the glue marker has already started to dry. So by the time I'm to the end, this part is dry and then it's just sort of a mess. And the other issue is that a lot of the times, I don't know if it's because there's a higher water content or something in the glue pen, uh, but a lot of times it will warp the paper and I definitely didn't want that to happen. So instead, we're going to go with the glue pad and this makes it really really quick. So get a piece of scrap paper and your tag and open up your glue pad and then you just press down over the whole surface of the tag. Make sure it's all glued. And then once you're done with that Today I'm being fancy and I have my little glue tray here that has a little open end that you can funnel the, the glitter neatly back into the container. So here we go. Oh, I love this color. I think this is just such a fun, non-traditional kind of color scheme. But really, I mean, these fluorescent glitters can be used in projects that are holiday related, non-holiday non -holiday re related, whatever. So basically, you're done with your tag now. Okay, so now that the tag has had a little bit of time for the glue to dry, I wanted to show you how you can attach it to a package. So I have my package here and it's just wrapped with regular black tissue paper. I like the black against the fluorescent because it just is such a nice contrast and really makes the color pop even more than it already would. And I'm going to be using this 1 8 inch white ribbon. So I think I'm going to wrap it around horizontally. So I'm going to loop it around once and then I want to thread the tag onto the ribbon. So just thread it up through.
and just continue to wrap the ribbon around sort of at the end right there. Actually, I think I'm going to tie it on the back because I think that gives the ribbon a more sleek, geometric, sort of 80s look on the front. So you just tie it in a knot and clip off the excess. And then you position your tag where you want it and you're all set. Thanks so much for watching today's tutorial and have a happy holiday season. See you next time.